Okay, so, um, uh, hey, hey guys, uh, so, uh, today, in today's class, we're going to talk about, uh, how to pick up Rodham G girls, which is something I, uh, 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 it was heavily requested, and as you might know, I know my way around Oryx's chambers, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's get started with uh, today's tips. First, we're going to uh, go through some simple steps or tricks that you can use in uh, in any social situation uh, to get yourself closer to the girl you are admiring. And later on, we will get into some infield action where you will see uh, one of my um, students talk to some actual girls. Uh, it was pretty amazing, we actually got it on tape. Uh, where he will be showcasing some techniques, which I will break down. So, um, that's what you're in for for this video. So, starting things off, uh, let's go into a scenario I created of mine, which is something I encounter on a daily basis. You know, when I go around the realm and, and just find this abyss where a damsel in distress might be checking out that dungeon, maybe, maybe, uh, hopping in... <laughs> Uh, I, I like to just go into the dungeons and see who's around, and if I see some some hot babe lurking around, uh, I like to use this line I, I created of, uh, of mine. So she might be walking around the rooms, and this is where your first step or tip when, uh, is, uh, is gonna come in, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna showcase your rushing skills. Now be sure that you have a character that is able to rush, because if you mess up, which I have done before, you just gotta play it off cool, you know. You, you gotta remember her IGN and, and try to explain it to her afterwards. And that would be awkward, right? Yes, that would be awkward. So, what you're gonna do instead is, is just do it in the first place, right? So, if you try to rush the dungeon, she might be impressed. Maybe even thank you afterwards. And as soon as she's thanked you, play, bear in mind, she thanks you, right? This is where she owes you something. She, she owes you this. She, you rushed the dungeon for her. So, she now owes you a favor, and you're gonna be smart around that, right? But, let's just push that aside, that's for another video. So, she might be checking out the rooms or something, and you might be coming up from behind. It should be rather easy, because she cleared the enemies for you. So, you just push in the same room, and you're just like, Hey, it suddenly got hot in here. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, okay, it's because there's lava in the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she, she might be sort of surprised at first and she might blush, but you can't see it because it's in Room of the Mad God. That's the great thing because you know she's blushing. Just imagine her blushing before your eyes when you say that uh, sentence. So she might be like, huh, or question marks in the chat, uh, which I have the perfect response for. Uh, just just uh, hold on a minute. I gotta find it. There it is. Uh, it seems the heat has been neutralized by your cold heart. Uh, winky face. <laughs> it's a great one. It's it took me some some minutes to come up with that But it turns out great in practice. So not she's flattered, right? <laughs> she's flattered. She, she loved your joke and 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 she she thinks very fondly of you um, So th this is where this is where you follow her. This is where you just wait you lock her That's the first thing you gotta lock her and just wait on adding her as a friend because Within the first 10 minutes, it would be a little creepy if you added her straight off the bat. So she might not respond to your request at first, but you just gotta be persistent. Because girls love guys who push, push boundaries and push for- They would move a mountain for them, if you know what I mean, right? You gotta be the alpha male, the oryx, the mat god in her life, right? So you gotta do something for her. And you can't really do something for her if you're not there. Am I right? So you just follow her to the boss. Maybe, maybe just start trading her pots, asking her what does she want. You can bring her everything, right? So you just shower her in gifts because gifts equal compliments, right? Because you love her. Or I'm, I'm getting a bit off topic. <laughs> I, 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 I might not be leaving any girls left for me to take, right? If you guys just start utilizing these tips. All right, uh, I think I gotta move on. So uh, that was some uh, some quick uh, lines. Uh, let me know if you want some more. I have a huge quantity of lines. I I'm I'm not really sure if I if I should use them, but I would like your guys' judgment. So if you want to see any of these lines, just just let me know, right? Just let me know. So I, I think it's time to see our our student in works. He's actually a guy who has been following me for quite a while and. Yeah, he's be, been utilizing the same tactics as as I use on girls. He's actually homosexual, 
But for this sake, I think we're just gonna observe him to see what he does and and how how he does it to to which degree of professionalism he showcases. Now I don't like to call myself a pickup artist, but <laughs> but I might be one. <laughs> and my and my little friend in this in this clip, Jonathan, he's certainly one of the best kind. <laughs> <coughs> so what we see in this first clip, right? <clears throat> Jonathan is approaching a group of girls. Now, you have to pay attention to his walk because his walk is what determines his person. Jonathan emits this aura. I, I know it because I've been beside him. And you really feel this intense sense of who he is. And that's what you're gonna emit through your walk. So as you can see, he's, he's moving in, he's doing it, he's doing it very great. It's like moonwalking, almost. And as you can see, the girls are mesmerized. They are, they are stunned. They, they can't even continue their conversation. Uh, so he moves in, and this is where you also gotta pay attention, because he uses one of our lines. <laughs> hey, um, if, if you were Thessal, I'd be your King Alexander. <laughs> Are you Oryx? Because that cannot be. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> now, this is where our, our great student, he makes a mistake, because his reference actually results in an incest joke. Uh, which she responds on that's that's a personal flaw of his so we can just push that aside And as you can see he actually manages to recover pretty well <laughs> There's no need to be a bitch about it. Don't you just want to fuck your brother now as you can see there That's a great joke. It's a great. It's very flirty very playful and I like the way he uses his words to sort of he, he, al he already smiles in his language, so it already sort of like, she can't really stop like having this feel of, of, of enjoyment because he's enjoying himself and that's sort of, it, it's infecting almost. Now, let, let's continue the, the tape. Let's continue the tape. Excuse me? <laughs> Didn't you hear me? I said, don't you like to f*** your brother? Ew! Okay, so post that right there. So, it is very clearly conveyed that she is very excited about what he said. And as you as you know, the regulars on my channel might know, that strong emotion equal a great bond between the persons involved. So, what this does is actually, um, this feeling of excitement is, is put in relation to the meeting of his character, our great student. Okay, so uh, for the rest of the clip, you'll see uh, they just run off. They they disappear. But as you can see, our student has a great smile on his face, right? Because that was very successful. He did a very good job. So what you can learn from that interaction is that you always have to have your lines in check. You gotta be sure what to say in what situations. And also know what comes out of these situations. If you do something, what does that mean for the other person? If you know what I mean, right? So that's what you gotta pay attention to. Right, so uh, you can sign up to my my membership. I think it's in the uh, in the description. Uh, I haven't really figured it out with YouTube yet. I'm very much used to SoundCloud, but uh, if you just want to see more of me and my um, my little hobby here, uh, you can you can freely message me uh, on my Discord. It's it's on screen right now, and my phone number is uh, is also on screen right now. Uh, my name should also be on screen right now, um, as well as my blood type. I wasn't really sure if I should include all the uh, all the decimals or uh, what, what do you call it here in uh, here in America? I think it's ciphers uh, on my credit card, but that's also on the screen right now. So uh, my IGN is also on the screen. Uh, my sister's name is also on the screen actually, but uh, let's just push that aside. Okay, so the the membership is ninety nine a month, uh, bucks do dollars, not 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 insects. <laughs> um. Sorry about that, but uh, let 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 let's uh, let's just finish off this little video I made of mine. I'm I'm actually pretty proud of it. Um, you're free to feel the same way. Of course, it's not very it's not sure that you you might feel the same way. But um, let me know if you enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna turn this off.